Today, we're going to learn how to set up your tablet to be able to do this. Control your show from free show from any mobile device or computer that's on the same network. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? This is Gary B. Jr., your media consultant. And today we are going to be talking about how to use your tablet or your phone to control free show remotely. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to open up free show, obviously, which I have here. And then you're going to go to your settings option on the top right. Now, note that I've got a primary screen and I've got a live uh, like a live stream feed active right now. I'm not really using the live stream feed right now, but this is going to be showing it real time. This is really how I have my setup going on. And then I can go to the settings up here in the top right. And when I go to settings, you're going to see all kinds of options, but you're going to look on the left side for connections. And when you get to the connections, you want to activate the option that says remote show. And if you notice, I've already got one active user on my remote show. But if I were to, when I, once you activate or enable it, you can select that tab and it'll give you a QR code that you can scan with your phone or with your tablet, or it, you can actually go to your browser on your device and type in the IP address that we have here. All right, now yours will be a little bit different than mine's, and you also will have a password that you need to put in because you can control the whole show. All right, so we're gonna hit close here, and now I'm gonna switch to an angle to let you guys see um, what it would look like on the tablet. All right, so let's go to this view here, all right? now. I'm doing this because I want you guys to see that I'm literally controlling everything from the show or uh, from the tablet. And you can see the um, the actual screen, the primary output is down below. This is what your um, audience is going to see while you control everything here. So if I were to go to this particular slide here and I can go to the to that particular part of the song, go to that part of the song and go to that part of the song. If I want to, I can use my arrows over here to go to the right and advance through the song. I can go to the left and go backwards through the song. And you'll notice that it is changing the actual song. I can scroll up and down in this view and I can select any screen that I want or any um, page that I want in the show. Now, the other thing you can do is you can actually edit these slides. And if you notice, it gives you a breakdown um, of each group and you can go in and you can actually type in what you want to say. It'll pop up your keyboard here and you can edit that as well. All right. Now I'm going to hit done there. The other thing you can do is you can change your view to show courses um, and you can go back to the default view there as well with the grid view. You also can go to different projects on the left side here. So I can hit this top arrow and it brings me to all of my projects. So I can go to this project here and here's one of the slides. I can tap on that slide and it literally changes the slideshow um, for the audience. All right. Now, if you look over here, we've got the preview at the top right and then we've got the upcoming slide at the bottom, like a, a, a preview of the next slide coming up. All right. And we can go to other songs if we wanted to. Um, Let's see here. This song here's there. Here's another song there. And all these things are happening behind the scenes, just like if you were managing it from your computer. All right. Now, if we were to get a better view of it, you can see I'm not touching my computer. OK, my computer is actually still in the settings window. All right. That is kind of crazy. I was able to control the whole show and my computer was in the settings window of free show. If I go back to my shows, it's still on God, I look to you that actual song that I left off on when we first started this presentation. Now, if I wanted to, let me go back. If I wanted to, I could go back to that part of the show here and, and find that project and get back to that. Um, but I also can control the show here. So I can actually go from my computer and I'm gonna put it back to where you guys can see. I can go from my computer now and I can select an actual song. And let me go back to this view so you can see it. When I select the song, it changes. And I did that from my computer and I can go back and make changes from my tablet as well. But they both are controlling the show. Uh, so if you have to step away, you can easily do that and take your tablet or your phone with you and be able to control the show. Now, let's say someone wants to reference a scripture. 
this is where it gets fun. You can actually reference the scripture. So you can select the little Bible icon here. And this little Bible icon is on the bottom left. This is the show icon, right? So this shows you your shows. And then you've also got the search option as well, where you can do a search uh, through your shows and things like that. But I'm going to go back to scriptures. All right. And we'll pick the New Living Translation. And it gives you a breakdown view of every book of the Bible. So you can go to Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. We'll go to verse 2. And it pops up there. And if we were here, you'd better see that verse pop up. All right. Now I can also go to, I can go back to verse one. If I want to, I can control the whole show from here and pull up any scripture I want to. Now, what I've noticed is if I were to go back and hit the Bible icon and I want to switch Bibles, my first thought is to hit the NLT, but there's actually a piece here. When I hit refresh, it'll give me an option to go back. And that's what you want. You want to be able to get the option to go back. And it may be that my tablet is old, so it's not supporting that feature out the gate. So when I hit refresh, it does pop up. Um, you may get uh, a different response on an Android tablet. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't use this particular feature very often, but I just want to make sure we understand that it works and it works really well. So if I go back, now I can see a list of all my different Bibles. I can go to NASB. And these Bibles that I have, these are actual downloaded or local Bibles only. That's all I can see here, right? So I don't get to see my on online Bible. So if you have Bibles that are API Bibles, then you might have a challenge. And let's see, let's go back and look and see what we got going on. So on my computer here, it looks like this. So it's not even showing the scriptures. If I go to Acts, let's see here, it's thinking about it, it's thinking about it, but I actually hit NASB. And so it's trying to get to NASB. If I go here, and go to 1 Corinthians chapter 7. We'll go to verse 7. And so it shows up there and it's showing up here as well. If I go to NIV and go to Deuteronomy and it pops up there, I can see that here on my screen. If you look at your tablet, it will show you the latest um, verse that you're on or that you've selected. Um, it says, do not worry. Now, it didn't change over here. I'm still in 1 Corinthians here. All right. And I can hit the Bible icon and I can go to a different verse of the Bible. Right. So I can go to Revelation chapter one, verse seven. And on my computer, it automatically went to Revelation chapter one, verse seven. OK, you'll see that it's on Revelation here and it popped up. Let's go to this version, this version of the screen here. So you can see here I'm on Revelation chapter one, verse seven without me even trying. So if I go to my tablet and I go to. Verse 17, you'll see that it automatically changes to verse 17 there. All right. And so when you do the Bibles from the search, it will automatically sync up with your computer real time. However, when you're going through your slides, if you're going through an actual show, those won't change or sync up. So if I go to uh, right now, it's on God. I look to you. I'm going to go to Agnes D and I can change the look of the show. And you notice it changed up here. The whole background changed because I went to a whole new slideshow but it didn't change in here only thing that you see is the pink box that shows where you are in your show or your project that's the only thing that changed all right if i were to go to galatians you'll see that when i type in one of the verses in galatians you'll see that it changes here as well all right so this is how you would interact and how you can work with your tablet using free show and a tablet and a computer. And this is all over devices that are on the same network. So you can do this uh, from a computer if you wanted to. You can do this from a tablet. You can do this from a phone. As long as they're all connected on the same network, it works just fine. There's no special app needed or anything like that. But you can log in on any browser and type in the IP address and or if you've got a mobile device, scan the QR code that comes from your settings so that you can get to that particular IP address from your mobile device. And then it'll ask you for your password and you're good to go. All right. Now, some fun facts and features about this. I love that how this works. It doesn't give you access to any of your other tabs here, like the audio or the overlays to date, right? That's as of today of me recording this or your functions or anything, any, any settings that you've had or actions that you've put onto your show, those will run from the mobile device as normal because they're actually built into the show. 
but you don't have any access or um, control over your um, actions and functions and timers and things unless they're already a part of the show. And that's just to date. I'm sure uh, improvements will be made on this on this uh, interaction with the connections that we have. But right now it is very, very usable uh, and very easy to use, as a matter of fact, uh, for anybody that's trying to control their show using their mobile device and free show. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it helped you in a major way. Now, at this point, most people would ask you to like and subscribe, and I think that's great, but my goal is a little bit different. My goal is to empower as many people as possible all over the globe. And there's one way that you can really help me do that, and that is to leave a comment below with a question, a thought, uh, how this video may have helped you, or things that were left out that you still have questions about, and to share this video with someone just like you, someone who is looking for answers, someone who's curious and wants to grow. With your help, I believe we can build a community of people that want to grow together. So until next time, God bless.